I'm from Grey Heron Internal Arts in Cambridge. I'm one of the instructors. Um, it's really great to be part of this festival. I hope you watch other people's videos and you join in feeling good uh, while you're exercising. So what we're going to do in today's class is look at some basic warm-up exercises. Then we're going to look at some punches and some kicks. And then we're going to finish off with some relaxation exercises from Qi Gong. Start with having a good working posture. So what I've done on the stool I'm at is I'm in the first third of the stool. I'll just show you that from the side. So I'm not at the back. I'm kind of shuffled over a bit to the first third of the stool. Nice and relaxed in the shoulders, nice and relaxed in the hands. And while you're sitting in your chair, you want to float up through the crown of the head. You want to sink down through your sitting bones and you want to feel the contact through your feet. Relax around your jaw, relax the muscles around your neck all the way down um, to your sitting bones. And think of the muscles as being relaxed and soft and this upward feeling in your supporting bones of your legs and your spine. And then take a few slow deep breaths in and out. And while you're aware of your breathing, also notice what you can sense in your body and what you can sense around you. So you want to be listening behind and above and you're sinking your shoulders as well as sinking the hips. So you've got this good solid connection to the ground. Okay, just let the arms hang by the sides and just tune into your body. So give the arms a bit of a shake, give the legs a bit of a shake, just so you can notice how you are feeling and just join in with as much or as little as you wish. That's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our hips and shoulders to the corners. I'll just show you the corners, this side and this side. And we're just going to let our arms, let the arm move round. So I'll show you this from the side uh, diagonal view. So from the diagonal view, we're going like this. So I'm just allowing my hand to rest on the chair, gently rest on the chair and let the other arm just move round. So I'm really letting go in this shoulder joint. So remember the shoulder's a ball and socket joint. <clears throat> and just think of it kind of rotating and turning round. So this is an adaptation of one of the uh, loosening exercises that they're called. Nice and relaxed. Okay, and then check your posture again. Feel the feet. Now with the feet, what you want to do is gently draw the toes in so that you're activating the arches of the foot. You want to relax the shoulders. You want to lengthen up through the spine. Your chin is resting. Imagine it resting on a small ball and you're softly gazing forwards as you listen behind and listen above. And then we're just gonna do this. So you just raise the arms and just let them drop. Oh, you know, like when you get to the supermarket and there's no pasta left. Oh, so you... So what, what you're doing is as well as loosening the arms, you're feeling the natural connections 
through the body. The other thing I'm doing is I'm really relaxing the palms of my hands and my fingers. So palms of the hands of the fingers, the wrists, the elbows and the shoulders. I'll show you that from the diagonal view. So we're doing this. So again, I'm still nice and tall. And you're just breathing. So we just do a little familiarising yourself with your body. And we're breathing. Okay. Then what you can do is you can come up, you make a fist and then you let go and let them swing down. You make a fist, let go. Make a fist, let go. Make a fist, punch up, let go. Make a fist, punch up, let go. So it's just, it's just like really loose. Let's do a few more. Up, down. Up, down. Nice, okay, next. You turning your shoulders and your hips to one corner and then you're turning your shoulders and your hips to the other corner. So it looks like this, but what we're doing with the arm is we're allowing it to swing forward and swing back as we turn. Have a look from the side view. So this is it from the side. So I'm using my, I'm pushing down with my feet and I'm feeling with my sitting bones. I'm tall through the crown of the head. I'm turning and I'm swinging my arms behind me. But as they go behind, they also go forwards. So they go back and forwards. And we're just keeping it nice and loose. So there's a lot more loosening exercises than those three. Um, but this is just a short introduction. Keep breathing, very good. And as you're doing these movements, every now and then just monitor your contact with the ground, monitor your alignment. Right, we'll shake out. So shake out the arms, now give your legs a shake. If, if your legs don't do that, that's fine. You can shake your arms a bit more. You can actually lift your leg and give it a shake as well. Now, we'll have a look at the, the feet. We'll come back to the arms a bit later. So just wiggle your toes. And the, the angle of the knee, you don't want them too far forwards, you don't want them too far back, you just want them kind of like a 90 degree angle and also I've got a two fist gap between my knees. So this is comfortable and this is comfortable on the hip. We're just wiggling our toes. And wiggle the toes and then just gently draw the toes in so that you activate the arches of the foot. So it's just this very gentle holding in the feet. And then what we're going to do, I'll show you from the diagonal view, what we're going to do is we're going to just very gently raise a toe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the other one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, heels. You can do both heels or one at a time. One, two, three, I'm just doing them one at a time for now. Five, six, seven, eight, and the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then for fun, one heel and one toe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, heel, toe, two, three, 
four, five, one, two, three, four, five, both at the same time. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Okay, put your foot out, circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got a slight bend in that knee, other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the foot in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put the foot down where you found it. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the foot in. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then just give your knees a bit of a, a wiggle. So we're just focusing on that hip joint and making sure it feels a bit looser. You can also put your foot out, rest your heel on the floor and just give your hip joint some attention. And then do the other hip joint so that you're not left out. Then nice and relaxed, nice and tall, good posture. Okay, right, arms. So we start with the shoulders, we go up, back, down and round. I'll show you that from the side. Up, back, down and round again, nice and tall. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands on your chest, elbows hanging down. And I'll, actually, I will show you that from the diagonal as well. One, so we're going forward, up, back, and round. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we go in the other direction. So we go back, up, forwards, and down. Back, up, forwards and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. And then shake out. Really shake out. Like you're shaking water off of your arms. And then we just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then just shake out. Now wiggle your fingers like this. Think of sea anemones. And we're going to go up and down first. We'll just do four. Three, four. And we go forwards and back. I'll show you from the side. One, two, three, four. Then one forward, one back. One, two, three, four. And then up and down at the same time. One, two, three, four. Sh shake out. So we're getting our 
arms nice and loose, we've got our legs nice and loose, but we need to focus a bit more on the waist. So what we do is we put our hands on our knees and we're going to go round in a circle in one direction and then round in the circle in the other. But while you're going round in the circle, you want to pay attention to the contact with your sitting bones and the chair and the contact with your feet and the ground and be aware of your lengthening through the spine. So the crown of the head floats up, the sitting bones sink down into the chair, and nice and relaxed. And we go one, two, have a look from the side, three, four, five, let's do one more, six. And then check your posture. So this is a bit like um, if you're checking your, your in tune, if you play an instrument. Now we go in the other direction and we'll do six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Great. Okay, so what we're going to do um, for a little bit of the class is three basic punches. If you're right-handed, you'll have your left foot forward. I'm going to mirror, so I'll bring one foot back slightly and one foot slightly forward as if I'm diagonally onto someone and then I make a fist so you close the hands, you bring the thumb over the top and you bring it to the sides of your head with the elbows down. That is your guard posture. And then we go out, punch. With the front hand, that is your jab. It goes out, turn, and then back to the cheek. And then the back hand is your cross hand. That goes out, turn, and back to the cheek. And you, as you punch, you slightly turn and slightly turn. So you're using, you're using these movements, you're using your waist, go jab, cross, jab, cross. And I'm, I'm pushing down with my feet as well. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, good. Jab, cross, and once more, jab, cross. Okay, just for balance, let's try it with the other lead. Okay, and now you want to practice your soft focus gaze. So they, they call the gaze in Tai Chi sleepy tiger eyes. So it's like you've got um, the eyes of a sleepy tiger. So it's very relaxed, but very alert as well. So if you could like see through the walls. And we're going to go jab, cross. So I'll do it slow and then we'll speed up a little bit. So we go jab, front hand, cross is the back hand. Jab, cross, jab, cross. And I'm pushing with this leg for the cross. I push with this leg for the jab, I push with the back leg for the cross. So I'm linking my hand with my foot. If you have issues with your feet, you can feel it through the knee. So as I cross with my back hand, I'm pushing down with my knee. And as I jab with the front hand, I'm pushing down with my knee. Jab, cross. Two, three, four. And once more, five, very good. Okay, the next punch is your hook punch. We're just gonna do a little exercise first. So we're just gonna do this and then that. So. We got vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. In fact, you can even hook that way or you can even have it like that, like that as well. There's two ways. Try that with the other at hand. Okay, go back to this one. So we're turning, 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 turning. Turning. 
and then what you do is you hook 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 so you you turn and you make a if you see it from the diagonal view it's a right angle see it from the side it's a right angle right angle right angle see from the other side right angle right angle so you have your hook one two three and i'm using my body and pushing down with my foot six seven eight and then what you can do is you can string those three punches together in the first punching sequence i learned uh, from the cambridge academy martial arts called jab cross hook so this is jab cross hook jab cross hook and it's quite satisfying so we're going to do five jab cross hooks on one side and then we're going to do five jab cross hooks on the other good posture breathing in and out ready and begin jab cross hook two three four and five so I'm looking forwards and I'm if it was someone that was holding up pads I'd be watching the person's neck and sh shoulders while they held the pads up for me to jab cross hook into right try five with the other foot forward so we're we're kind of along the diagonal here we'll check our posture we have our arms up in a guard position and then we're going to do five jab cross hooks ready begin jab cross hook one two three four five okay the other thing we can do is we could do some kicks now if you don't want to do a full kick you can do a knee just lift your knee up as if you're bringing someone into your knee but the kick kind of comes around a bit comes around comes around and you have your hands up when you kick so there's a it's like a roundhouse but obviously we're sitting down to do the roundhouse and there's also a kick that you push a push kick push kick push kick push kick and a round kick round kick but we're just gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna go jab cross hook kick push kick just for fun and we'll do that five times ready and begin jab cross hook round kick push kick jab cross hook round kick push kick jab cross hook round kick push kick jab cross hook round kick pushing kick once more jab cross hook round kick pushing kick that was so good we'll do it on the other side now so think and the other thing is we're not in a hurry you, you can speed up with time and then you can also look at your moving around and uh, you know you've got uppercuts you've got elbows you've got shovel hook but we'll just stick with some basic jab cross hook round kick push kick five times on this side so get nice and relaxed ready and begin jab cross hook round kick push kick tiger eyes jab cross hook round kick push kick jab cross hook round kick push kick jab cross hook round kick push kick once more jab cross hook round kick push kick we'll now do some relaxation exercises now we just breathe in breathe out so 
So to show you that from the side, I'm keeping my arms in front of the centre line of my body. I'm just nice and tall, I'm looking forwards, I'm listening behind and listening above. Okay, and then just let your arms hang by the sides. You can have one foot forward if you want, but you don't have to. And imagine you're in water. So we're going to do lifting water exercise and just very gently sway back and sway forwards. So again, if you see from the side, I'm moving my upper torso, but I'm keeping my sitting bones connected to my chair. I'm keeping my feet connected to the ground or my knees. I can feel, feel it through my knees as well. And then I'm like this. This is called lifting water. So imagine you're in a nice pool and it's beautiful sunshine. There's clouds, there's sunshine, the sky's all blue. And as you're raising your hands, you're hearing the water drop off the elbows and off your fingers. And you can also see the sun glinting and you can imagine the warmth of the sun on your, on your face and on your body. So it's got quite a nice open, warm feeling to it. And we're just, just doing this. Okay, nice and relaxed. We'll just change the foot that's in front. Again, check your, your posture and lifting water. Lift the water. <clears throat> okay, and then this next one is called Tiger Sharpens Its Claws. So you want to make a claw shape. Think of think of having 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 claws, and you come for, towards your front leg, and then as you sink into the sitting bones, you pull back with your claws, as if you're sharpening them on something. Tiger sharpens its claws. Two, three. Okay, try five on the other side. So you put your other foot um, forward and then we just keep breathing, very good. taster what we'll do is we'll just finish off with embrace the tiger return to the mountain so that comes up like this one two bring the hands together three towards the chest four sink down moment feel that you own your space feel nice and tall feel the ground under your feet feel the chair under your sitting bones and just sit and breathe for a moment muscles soft upward feeling in your supporting bones And then make a fist with your right hand, 
left hand over the top, feet together, and bow. We did jab cross hook, couple of kicks, lifting water, and tiger sharpens its claws. Do check out the Grey Heron Internal Arts website and look after yourselves and look after each other. Thank you.